Hey gang, Scott here. Well, on one released Photo Raw 2022 today, and my favorite feature is the ability to run Photoshop plugins right from within the edit module in Photo Raw. This is uh, the workflow that we have been waiting for. If you're an on one centric user, on one is your starting point for your photo editing. This is what you've wanted for a long time a very clean, streamlined, round trip workflow for basically anything that has a Photoshop plugin. Now I'm sure On1 is putting together a material that says here's exactly the plugins they've tested and they've run with and you know, what should work. But uh, a common workflow for uh, many photographers, myself included, be using On One as well as Luminar products together, and I'm going to show you how that works today in Photo Raw 2022. Now, if you're thinking about adding Photo Raw 2022 or other On One products to your toolkit, please check the show notes. Use the offer code that's on this screen. It'll save you at least 20%. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It'll save you money, and that gives me a little support as well, so I can do more videos like this. So let me show you this thing: this plugins from within the edit module. This this is awesome stuff. I'm in the edit module here, have this photo, and I've done my basics on it. I've done my raw processing, even added a couple of effects, did a little bit of exposure balancing using my locals, and I'm ready to take this into another tool, another Photoshop plugin tool. In this case, I'm going to send this over to Luminar AI. I mean, this is the workflow we've been waiting for. Be able to send it from Photo Raw into Luminar AI and back cleanly. It was very cumbersome the last time. So I would just go up to the layer menu filters and you will see all of your various Photoshop plugins. If you do not see these here, you have to go into the preferences and there is the plugins panel where you can set the paths to these. I have a separate video. I'll put a link in the show notes to it that shows you how to go do that and how you can understand that there is an area where you can put plugins that on one knows about and you can also point on one to the plugins you have in Photoshop if you're running Photoshop. There's a, a simple enough way to do it. Check out that other video. Now I'll just say I'm going to launch this over into Luminar AI. So on one kicks off that plugin process, launches Luminar AI, loads the photo up, and lands me in the Luminar AI editor. So here I'll just go over to the edit. And for, for this photo, let's go ahead and just do a little more accent. Just add some accent here. And uh, I like the, the glow looks that Luminar AI has. So let me switch this over to, say, an Orton glow. Make that a little bit of a, a darker kind of feel. Something like that. Push my contrast a little bit, giving this a very soft, airy kind of feel before, after. The types of edits here aren't as important for the video. But the point is now, when I go and click this Apply button, these changes get taken, sent back over into Photo Raw. Photo Raw creates a layered photo document, an on photo document for us, and takes the Luminar edits and puts them on the next layer so we have everything available to us back in Photo Raw. Now notice the layers panel has now opened up. All right, so I have the top layer is this layer I sent over to Luminar and did the edits. If I turn that off, we'll see there is my original. It looks like Luminar even corrected a slight uh, adjustment for me on the, the horizon, which was a, a nice little bonus. This bottom layer is what we worked on originally. If I select this bottom layer, we'll see there are my adjustments, there's my, my filters I added, and my develop, my all my raw processing. All of this got baked into a photo, sent over to Luminar, and then I did my edits and it brought those back. Now once I've come back, this is a standard plugin workflow, just like any other type of a round trip application. The changes I made in Luminar, those are baked in can't go back and change those again, but I do have this layered workflow that is non-destructive in the sense I still have all of my original edits here, and I can even name this as like, you know, original photo, and then here I can call this, you know, Luminar AI edit. I can keep track of what I was doing, and of course if I want to continue editing, I can add more effects to this layer and continue on with any other final adjustments I might want to do. Like in this case, maybe I want to uh, go ahead and finish it off by adding a vignette. You know, something uh, Big Softy is always a popular one that's a little strong for this photo. We'll back off its, uh, its strength a little bit, maybe give a, a little nudge up on the brightness. And there we go. So when I'm all done, hit the done there, Photoraw will tell me, 
you just made a layered document. I'm creating this as an on photo document. So you can go back in, open it up, do all of your edits along the way. Just you know, any other time you want to go back into this and make tweaks and changes, you can. Just know that those changes you made in your plugin, in this case Luminar AI, those get baked in. But anything else you've done in on one is still completely accessible. And finally, back in browse, we have our original photo and we have the on photo, which has my layered document with my Luminar AI edits. Photo Raw took care of creating that, putting it right next to the original in the same folder where your uh, raw file was. So it's a very nice, simple, clean round trip workflow. Photoshop plugins in Photo Raw 2022. This is, uh, in my opinion, it is the best feature in Photo Raw 2022. Like I said many times already in this video, it's the workflow that we've been waiting for for a long time. So On One Photo Raw centric users, uh, you should be tipping your hats to the folks up in On One for bringing this into the product. Any other questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.